it is still dry out here when it comes to Final Fantasy VII Remake. But there is something that could be huge, and we need to talk about it. It's about Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3. Yes, 3. And how it's possible that it just might be currently in development. A few days ago, we made a video talking about Sid being revealed in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. It was because of a photo that was posted by Cloud's motion capture actor Katsuyuki Yamakaze. In the photo, Cloud's actor is in the middle and is posing with Barrett's actor to the right. But to the left, we had no idea who this could be. After a few comparisons, we believe it very well could be Sid Highwind. For more details on that, check out the previous video. It is on the top right where you can find it. But based on those findings, we believe this meant he might be in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. But after a good friend of mine's tweet and podcast we had together, I now think I was in fact wrong, and this photo is our first look into Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3 being in development. Go ahead and follow Schrodinger's Baby Seal and make sure you guys hit that subscribe and notification bell because less than 50% of you are currently subbed and we are in a crazy time for Final Fantasy right now. You don't want to miss out on any updates that are coming out and notification bells should be on to stay up to date guys. Now with all that being said, let's get into this video. Yes, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3 is quite possibly an early development, which sounds crazy to say out loud, especially when we have not gotten any updates for Remake Part 2 as of yet. But hear me out, there are some reasons to back up these claims, and I want to hear what you guys think about them in the comments below. When it comes to video game development, some of the very early stuff that is knocked out is motion capturing. Our last update in regards to anything motion capture wise for Final Fantasy VII Remake was December 2020 with Eret's actress, saying she had just wrapped up a four hour shoot with Sephiroth's actor, and we never got another update afterwards from either of the actors that we can verify. There was a December 2021 post from Tifa's actress posting that she just finished up a scene with Cloud's actor and some other people that we don't know of, but these mocap actors at the end of the day are actors and it's highly possible that they work on many projects together outside of Final Fantasy and it happens quite often. So it's safe to assume that Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2's motion capture filming has wrapped up since late 2020 or early 2021 and the devs had just been hard at work on the actual game itself. Now fast forwarding to April 9th 2022 when this photo was posted, it's just not possible for Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 to still be filming motion capture since development on Part 2 started in November 2019. Unless this game is somehow going to be over 120 hours long or maybe 80 hours, you know if they somehow pull that off, I'm not going to lie it's pretty badass since Remake Part 1 was about 40 hours and that was under a development time starting from scratch in mid 2017 to early 2020, about two and a half years. Another thing some people have been saying is that it possibly can be DLC, but the devs have stated that no more DLC would be released until after the games are complete and out. Also, why would Barrett, Cloud, and Sid appear in a DLC for Remake Part 2 if Remake Part 2 ended before he made it into the game? I know intermission is immediately coming to some of you guys' minds, but when you think about it, at least with Yuffie's DLC, it took place at the same time as the story was moving along with Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, and Barrett within Midgar. And it didn't directly influence or control what was going on with the main story. You know, sometimes people don't have enough time to make their own food because you're too busy or you suck at cooking. Well, thankfully this month, the channel is sponsored by Factor Meals. Factor preps the meals for you beforehand, so all you have to do is heat it up and eat, which works out perfectly for those who have insanely busy schedules or just started working out and don't know where to start. Use our link below to get four meals sent to you right now for $40. Take your time and check out their catalog of meals that you can get sent to your door right now. And to incredibly help support the channel out a ton, guys, the sponsorship deal is amazing and you don't want to miss out on it. Get your hands on some Factor Meals right now. Way back in April 2020, Nomura stated that they hoped that the future parts of Remake would be releasing at a much faster rate than what we experienced with Part 1. I don't expect that to fully be a thing, but if Remake Part 2 seems to be going smooth and they're able to reuse assets from Part 1 to speed up that entire process, you know, rather than fully recreating characters and combat animations from the ground up, I could totally see how that could happen. Not to mention, if they get to Remake Part 3 and are finally using Unreal Engine 5 for that, which is designed to streamline the game development process overall, I think we could be seeing Remake Parts dropping much sooner while also retaining a solid build quality. I hope. 
But that wraps it up for this video, guys. What do you all think about this? Is Remake Part 3 being worked on as we speak so that Square can have a shorter wait time between Parts 2 and 3? Is the mystery motion capture actor actually Zack instead of Sid? I want to know what you all think in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.